What's up YouTube? Natural Nails Renee here and today I have a Father's Day nail stamping art video. It's a maniology stamping plate and let's get right to it. Okay, so this is the stamping plate for maniology. It's M240 and as you can see it has some Father's Day, um, some ties, number one dad, steak and super dad and you know some you know, masculine design. And um, also I'm going to attempt my first chrome stamping art as well for two swatches. Let me bring over the swatches. This is the swatches and the color of the swatches is from Ella and Mila and it's from their love collection. And it is lust in love, lust in love. So that's what's on these swatches. And then I use for these two on the end with the matte finish, I use Pacifica's Plant Magic Translucent Topper. It is a matte top coat. They are, as you can see, 16 free. Ellen Mila is 17 free. But anyway, let's get back into it. So I'm going to attempt the chrome nail stamping art first, but I need my roller. I need the chrome powder. And they say to use like uh, a stamper that you don't mind getting, you know, uh, kind of beat up because the, it'll stay translucent for a while, but over time, if you keep using the chrome powders on it, it starts to get cloudy, but um, so I chose this one because this one has some imperfections in it because this is my first one that I used a whole lot. I think I've used it in all my nail stamping videos that I posted <laughs> to my channel. So um, I'm going to use this one and I've started using the, a newer Maniology Ice Cube nail stamper. Because as you can see, you can't even see Maniology on this one anymore and it's got stains and yeah. So that's why I'm going to use this one for the chrome. So I think I'm going to do the bow ties. I think I'm going to do the bow ties, but let me get, and I'm going to do it in black, but let me get this prepped. Okay. I never opened these. Yet. I have not opened these, so let me see how to open them. And my hands are a little slippery because I moisturized them for this, this video. So it's now open, so now I'm going to attempt to rub. Oh, oh, oh. A little fuzzy. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, now, my scrapers. And I'm gonna try also in this video, I'm gonna try and do what I've seen in the Maniology videos. I am subscribed to their channel on YouTube. And I've gotten so much information from them and they have inspired me to start, you know, I've actually gotten rid of some of other brands, <laughs> other brands that I had, except for one brand because they're, they're the stamping polishes, they're just gorgeous. So I'm not getting rid of it but anyway. Um, but I've gotten so much information, like I said, and um, learning, you know, how to do this stuff. 
and all that. And some of the little tips and things that I would see Tiana, that's T Tiana from Maniology. I see her um, and I think Devin, uh, I see them in the videos, the Maniology videos on their YouTube channel. And they all the time have like paper towel underneath the stamping plate so that they can just wipe the stamping polish right off the um, scraper, off the card right away. Not to have it sitting there and, and, uh, and the way I was doing it in previous videos. So I'm going to be attempting that method in this video as well. And so a lot of first attempts in this video, everyone. I just uh, hope that um, I do well <laughs> with it all. So let's get into it. Um, I had the first... And I'm going to now do the bow ties. Also notice they don't load up the design like I was loading it up. It's not necessary. You scrape it right, you know, have, you know, a good amount, but not as much as I was putting on. And if you scrape it on the right angle and the right way, it's fine. It's enough. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. Okay. Now let me just pick it up. There it is. Oh, it put up nice. Okay. Let's see. Placement. Oh. Go that way. You can still see through it a little bit, but uh, <gasps> oh, that side is a little bald on that side, but man, not bad for my first attempt. Oh my gosh, I wish that would have came on. I'm mad about that. I wonder if I can try and make it work. Oh, am I going to make it worse? No, I'm not. I'm going to make it worse. But that's not bad for my first attempt, guys. I don't think. I really don't. I do, you know, yeah, it didn't. I guess I needed to press a little harder or a little, I don't know. But that side is perfect. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. First attempt. Okay. So now let me get this cleaned up and on to the next. I'm going to attempt this again with another design. I forgot to dust it off for any excess. That looks good. That looks good. So, for my next one, let me put this over here. Take this guy off. This guy here. Um, I said I was going to do the mustache, but I don't want to know. Um, should I be in gray? Yeah, they can be in this color. So, I'm going to do the mustaches. So, let me get the chrome powder on the stamper again. Okay, I got the chrome powder loaded up on the stamper. So now I just need to design. it up it picked up okay it's a little crooked so I need to but you can see so now placement
Trying to make sure I really. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I wish a little more was on the bottom. Oh well. But that's not bad. At least everything is full, you know, complete. Nothing really missing. It's just the bottom that I guess it was. Yeah. I guess this swatch is just a little long for this design, but yeah. That looks cool. I like, I like. All right, let's get this clean up and on to the last three. Put the croon powder away. Okay, I got everything cleaned up and I'm ready to do the last three, which will require the sticky base coat. So let me get the sticky base coat on these three. Right quick. that dry up a little bit so that it's nice and sticky okay I think the sticky base coat has enough time has had enough time to dry so what I want to do now is put the pipes on this one and I'm going to use Maniology's uh, Nato Clay B196 Nato Clay so Up. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh my God. That was definitely a Chrissy Snow moment. <laughs> For those out there, um, Chrissy Snow was the dizzy chick on um she was a dizzy blonde just to say just let's be real with it she was a dizzy blonde on the 70s show into the 80s um i think it was the 70s but anyway three's company chrissy janet and jack but all right let's get this picked up okay picked up decent now placement. Yes. Lay down the lay down the pieces that are kind of okay. I could have placed it a little better on this side. So that it was forced and it's a little not real bad a little bit of a, it's not even i like it to be even but it's not bad and the top coat the smudge free top coat is going to bring it to life so let's get this all cleaned up and on to the next Okay, for my next design, what I think I'm going to do is I want to get the Happy Father's Day. After all, this is what this uh, little five swatch set is all about. Father's Day. So, I think I want to do that. Can't go wrong with classic black. Straight up black. It's Maniology. Straight up black. B171. Great. Put the picks up okay. Uh, it's okay. I think I want something. It's that's just too small. 
And this is too small. So I want this on top of something. Maybe a design in white or something. So let me let me uh, redo this. <laughs> I'm gonna redo this, guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to do um I'm gonna do this design in white, which is this is their white maniologies, bam white. I mean, yeah, bam white B170. So and then I'm going to stamp in black. Happy Father's Day. Ooh, it's hot. I hope it works. That should be enough. Get it scraped. And it picked up. Came up nice. Now placement. Wow, perfect, perfect. Look at that guys, proud of myself, proud of myself. Okay, let's, let's work quickly to get the, the Father's Day on. I gotta get the black back out. Happy Father's Day. Okay, picked it up and it picked up a little better than it did that first time. So I'm happy about that. But show. Okay. Oh. It kind of got squiggly. I don't man it's not bad but it's not great <laughs> i'm i i had a perfect you know th this was perfect landed on i'm not landed was placed perfect and then i messed up with the darn happy father's day oh well win some you lose some and like i'm still i'm a rookie at this still okay for my last swatch i think i'm going to capture some things you know related to my hubby daddy B to my kids and um he had finished raising my kids so now they're our kids so i'm going to pick out a few things that's uh about him and so the first one is going to be definitely the comb the first two rather is going to be the comb it says there's probably sunglasses too but i want to do them a different color so i'm going to do the, the comb in black and black yeah comb in black woo 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 well get it off of there and let's get it picked up it picked up nice get rid of what I don't want and I'll put the comb right here like so and then let's get the scissors I'm gonna get the scissors in white the scissors in white that picked up Oh, they did not pick up like I wanted. Yeah, I gotta redo these guys. <laughs> like, there's no point. Oh, I guess. Sorry. Oh, well, let me get rid of what I don't want before it ends up on the swatch. I almost forgot that quick. I'll place them like here. 
And then now let's get this cleaned up. The next. Okay, I think I'm going to put the sunglasses, but I'm gonna put them in in silver. This is born pretty silver. They don't really have a name, but yeah, born pretty silver. Sounds like someone's coming in. That's why Kiki's barking. So I'm gonna pause this video. I'll be right back. This place the sunglasses. Not sure where to place these bad boys. Whoa. Man. That's okay. Uh, 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 uh. This is turning out to be all right. <laughs> Let me get this cleaned up. And I'm going to put something else on. I got to fill that space. It is too bare around there. Right around there. Okay, for the last thing, I, I think I'm going to put this, try and put this hat because Brian, my husband, yeah, steak, but I don't want to put meat on with scissors and combs and sunglasses. It's Ar um, Arabica, I guess that's how you say it, B201. That's the color I'm going to use for this hat. It's great. Picked up. Okay, picked it up. Pretty decent. Get rid of what I don't need. Okay, there we have it. Not too bad. Got number one dad, got a comb, scissors, sunglasses. I wonder if I should put something in that corner, like right in there. Like a portion of something. But what? Yeah, I've decided to put a mustache in that space there on some sort of angle. And I'm going to use a natto clay for it. Get this picked up. Pick them up nicely. All right, let me get rid of what I don't want. Okay, which one of these? Which one of these do I want to use? Which would look the best? I uh, think that one would look the best. So let me get rid of. That's not bad. I don't think that's bad at all. Okay. So now let me get this all cleaned up and get ready for the smudge free top coat on all these to bring it to life. Except for these two. They will not get this the smudge free. These three will. So okay, I got everything all cleaned up and we can get the top coat on these first three. The smudge free top coat. I'm going to be using the little one that I got with the kit. Cute, cute, cute. And last but not least, one I made for my hubby. Mm. 
Okay. Got the smudge free top coat on everything. And there you have it. My Father's Day, yeah. My nail stamping art dedicated to Father's Day. I hope y'all like it. And please like and subscribe if you haven't. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Peace.